fresh. Fresh. Ladies Days Off, I Connect TV, stand at Dublin Combat Academy, one week out from Yokeo Dublin with Yokeo Dublin debutant, Stefan Karodi. How are you? Fine. Welcome home. Thank you. <laughs> it's like, I would say it's good to be home, but uh, I don't like the weather. I don't like no, it. This weather is terrible. You're obviously in Thailand at the moment. For anyone that doesn't know, Stefan moved to Thailand. How long ago was it? Three, three and a half months now. Yeah. And I can't wait to get back. <laughs> Literally, you're like... We were booking the flights for the for the fight, and he was like, "Get me in and get me out." How I come? You just want to get back to what you're kind of after getting used to, is it? Not used to. It. It's like I have so much big opportunity over there, yeah. so I just like I don't want to miss out. Not even one day. Like, well, listen, you've been away for three and a half months, and the two fights that you've had have literally gone viral. Like two, was it three? Yeah, it was, was three. Actually, was three. Yeah. yeah, it was two in Lumpini and one in uh, Super Champ. That's what it was, and literally. Talk about going viral, like not only winning but stopping yeah. your opponents in like a ridiculous fashion. Yeah, big time. I, I don't know how that come because I never look for KOs. And before I thought it, I'm, I'm not strong enough to deliver KOs with one punch. Yeah. But my last four fights in a row all are like uh, ended up in KOs. Generally, the, the, the guys I went to sleep. Yeah. So I changed my mind now. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm still not looking for, for uh, KOs, but I just want to fight. Like, just but I mean, fight. obviously, you, you left, and when you left, you were like, you know, one of your coach's colleagues. You were his star student, you know what I mean? Yourself and Craig, like, are consistent. I'm still his. I'm still his. So still, I'm still, still his. his, of course. But he would always, like, say to the younger kids, be like Stefan and Craig, like, consistent, doing 10% more than they need to, like, every single day, you know? How has the, the, the kind of journey or the trip to Thailand and you're training in uh, PK San, San, Sanchai Gym? PK Sanchai Gym, Sanchai Gym, yes. Uh, so how has working with the guys there sort of like given you that extra edge, I suppose? It's not it's like extra edge or anything. It's just like the training is totally different. And after like they see that I really want it, yeah. then they take me in as part of a group. So now I'm part of them and like you know like if a foreigner goes there and is not going to training for like a few days it's no problem they don't say anything for me if i if i skip only one morning run or anything like that straight away they tell me i'm lazy yeah. so i all the time i need to push myself is that harder, because harder. they see your potential yes right, okay. because they, like, they they take me in so i'm part of the family now so they, they all the time they look after me and if if if, I, if i'm sick they come and they, they give me medicine they give me uh, massages everything yeah. just jo get back to normal so how do, how do you get into the family you know what I mean like is it you just win a fight in a great fashion or you're consistent like he, he, what happened for them to take you in like that no it's, it's not it's not gonna happen like that they just take you in because you win a fight or just because you train hard it's like hard training being nice to everyone trying to be uh, to put the best out of yourself and for me as well it was uh, that my first fight in Lumpini it wasn't a uh, the fight was for me. It's just one of the guys come in and ask me, ah, oh, you want to fight in Lumpin? And I was like, of course I want. Grand, you fight in two days. And the guy was a lot heavier. I was really, really tired, but I still said, okay, I'm going to fight. So after that fight, they see that I'm really into it. I'm, I'm doing it. I'm not just there for like, okay, just for hanging around or something. I'm doing it seriously. So then they see, okay, then they took, it, took me more in. Then even, not just in the gym, outside the gym as well. It's like the way I... I'm with the people over there. Yeah, I'm all the way around them. I'm trying to like learn Thai. I try, I'm trying to be like one of them, yeah. so they see that, and that's why they take me in. Like. And you're teaching English over there, aren't you? Is that what you studying to teach English? No. What, what you, no, no. You're not telling I'm, me that you're studying. Yeah, what mean, are you I'm studying? Mean, you're in college. Schooling. Yeah, but I'm studying to speak Thai, to write Thai. Oh. I, I thought you were I, going I, to teach like kids English. I was like, no, I'm so proud I, of him. I, I teach, well, I'm proud I, of you I for learning Thai. Yeah, uh, the, the other guys last from uh, from the gym English oh, sometimes. No yeah, way. Okay, yeah. Amazing, brilliant. But no, no, I'm not teaching. How are you getting on speaking Thai? Speak a little bit of Thai for me. For what? Like, I, I don't say like, hello, how are you? Sabadi kap, sabadi mai kap. So good. You know what can happen now when I go to interview all the Thais? I can bring you and you'll be able to translate for me because when, when I'm when I'm any a UK show that I've done I'm like trying to interview like you know super like whoever it was and I had to get like a translator. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure there are other guys who speak better Thai than me. <laughs> but yeah. but Thai is my. Give me another six months and I'm yeah. gonna be better. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> so listen, let's talk about UK. Obviously, this is going to be your first time fighting on UK. Um, you made the decision to come home. Why wouldn't you? If getting the chance to go up against Spencer Brown, are you excited? So, um, I've said, I'm not excited about like 
a fight. I'm excited about, about the all fights. Like, so I didn't come back home just to fight Bial because it's Spencer. No, I just fight, come back home because I promise for Cali that if there's any chance to come back and fight yeah. in your car, then I'm going to come back. But it's so you knew you were coming back, but you didn't know it was Spencer. No, I didn't. I didn't know that I was gonna come back. I was that if he's gonna be a chance, then I'm gonna come back. So the chance come and, and come like a big chance. So yeah. And and talk to me about the fight with Spencer Brown because I mean like he's at a place in his career now where kind of all eyes are on him. He's sort of like being heavily promoted by Yakao. You know, he's he's in Thailand. He's got a really good following online. And you know, what's it like for you to get the opportunity to to get in get in and fight him? Because arguably, when if you win, okay, yeah. then you will be propelled into you know people will know your name even more so than they do now your last three fights people have been like you know yeah. so oh who is this guy who is this guy where has he come from and now obviously getting that, that a win as big as that would be massive for your career right yeah it would be big but the way, way I'm thinking is like followers they're not gonna win fights for you yes. you can be as big as you want in social media and everybody can promote you as like oh he's the best he's the strongest when somebody real fighter gonna be in front of you and it's gonna really punch you in the face like it's not gonna be the same the same with me like if, if I'm gonna be with somebody really strong I'm not gonna knock him out with one punch definitely no so I think it's like yeah it's a big name a good fight because he's good yes. but it's just another fight like it's, it's like any other fight for me that that's the way I, way I think like in Thailand it doesn't matter like okay I win my uh, three fights for them with KO it's like okay it's That's like it, it's it's on. yeah I'm good they say okay I'm strong and all that but that was it it's end of the fight so the same thing over here after the fight is finished it's finished it's done I'm like nothing to do about it so it's always going to be a next fight and the next Absolutely. fight and the next fight so well, that's why you're so good because you keep progressing keep learning and never want to stop right I'm, I'm not looking for one fight so like oh that fight it's and then I'm, I'm happy now I get that fight grand I want another one like even in Thailand, as soon as I finished my fight, I was asking for another one. They were like, <laughs> that was that's funny. Once after my second fight, straight away, I, I sorry, after my second fight, the next day I went back to the gym because I wasn't hurt at all. And my trainer was screaming at me to go home because they're not going to train me. And I was like, just let me a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> but, Finish your train. But they didn't hold pads or absolutely nothing. They didn't marry me. They said, like, okay, do whatever you want. And I was on the back for like, eight rounds but they didn't they didn't mind me at all they didn't train me well that's a testament to your character and a, a look into the future and how successful you're no doubt going to be we're so proud of you so well done i do Thank miss you, you but I, I knew you're following your dream so i'll let you away with it <laughs> um but listen congratulations on the last three wins very sad to not be there but i look forward to seeing you on your cow. thank you very much stefan Crody for fight connect tv